Disclaimer, there will not be video commentary on this video. I fell and hurt my face badly, which required numerous stitches to my lip. But if Kanye was able to wrap through the wire, then I had no excuse not to make this video. Enjoy. This is what they hear? Yeah, exactly, right? It's despicable. You back You all loved my last video, and I mean loved. It's my fastest growing video to this day. Thank you all, by the way. You are literally the best humans alive. Because of this, I thought you might enjoy another piece of weird and unusual content that's hidden on YouTube and Google. Actually, scratch that. YouTube, Google, and Amazon. Wait, no, no, no. YouTube, Google, Amazon, and Facebook. Or wait, how about any large company that uses a CAPTCHA? CAPTCHAs are pretty much expected on any website nowadays. Whether you're signing up, logging in, or even just trying to access the page, you're prompted to answer the age-old question of click the horse. Or maybe if they're being fancy, slide a puzzle piece. These are all new age methods of stopping bots from performing certain actions, but the typical CAPTCHA that almost everyone is familiar with is the words. Users will be given a drawing of letters that are mushed together enough to be unrecognizable to bots, but just barely understandable to humans. Sometimes, however, these words can be so poorly put together that even humans can't make out what to spell. You might refresh a few times and question which god you've displeased to continuously get goop for CAPTCHAs before noticing an alternative solution. The audio. I'm sure I speak for a lot of people here, but it took me over a decade of using computers to even consider this button. I've seen it, don't get me wrong, but there has never been a time that I saw this and thought, oh yeah, why don't you sound that one out to me, maybe that'll help. It wasn't until one day that I had too much time on my hands and wondered, what the hell could this possibly say? And let me tell you, nothing would have made me guess what I heard. I was, uh, uh, I was, I was flabbergasted, and just in case you didn't hear it the first time, they make sure to say, Once again. At this point, I thought, okay, something has to be up. There must be a glitch or a messed up audio file. There is no way that this is meant to happen. I went on Google to find answers and found out pretty quickly, yeah, this is exactly what's meant to happen. I also found that this has been a thing for a while, and even between other companies and captions. Why would they make this word just a collection of devilish whispers? Well, the reason is pretty straightforward, but justifying it is a little more difficult. Essentially, these audios are meant to be obscure to enforce what captures are put in place for, to prevent bots. AI has advanced to a point where if they were to just speak the letters, an advanced bot could render what they say and bypass captures. Apparently, these hell-sent audio files are supposed to be messed up, but still just understandable to humans. Okay, quick challenge. You get all the change in my pocket if you can make out one letter from this capture audio. <laughs> no 26 cents for you. I know it's not intentional, but it's almost like some sick joke to blind people. Not only can they not understand it, but they're left to wonder if they clicked the capture audio or stumbled upon a Meat Canyon video. And actually, I'm not the only one who thinks this. I found an article titled, Why Blind Internet Users Are Angry at Amazon Capture, and it got me thinking, how could blind people cope? I then wondered how blind people even use computers, to which Tommy Edison helped me out. By sound. Who woulda knew? They can turn on a setting to have everything read aloud to them so they can locate the audio button, but with sound being their only option, how could they possibly pass through the caption? That's when I figured someone must be held accountable. I could go after all companies, sure, but that would inevitably prove too hard by their expansive legal teams. I have established a decent sized audience, yes, but not enough to take down a titan. But what if? What if I could merely remove a limb? Potentially disrupting the balance of evil corporations and the need of preventing bots at the expense of the blind. A fall so colossal and unexpected that it might just work. But which to choose? So essentially what I'm driving at is I thought it would be a fun idea for a video if we looked at some of these captures from different companies and see how they rank against each other. Luckily, I found a bizarre bub video that reviewed a bunch of companies' creepy capture audio, so I'm going to be referencing a few snippets from there. I filtered out some of the companies that weren't too bad, and I ended up with four companies that I deemed as the weirdest. Our honorary contenders are Google, Facebook, Amazon, and Yahoo. 
So let's take a look and see how they rank. Please type the numbers you hear. Eight. Seven. One. Zero. Two. Zero. Two. Amazon actually wasn't so bad. Surprisingly, normally they're awful. It's kind of weird given that you can hear cries of babies and weird sounding instrumentals, but it's pretty mild. This is what I would expect a capture audio to be. Given they could have maybe used some less creepy sounds, you can pretty much understand what letters are being spoke. Now find some relief in this because the same cannot be said for some other companies. <laughs> it's, I don't really even know what I just heard. It's short, but not so sweet. I'm not really sure what to make of it. It's just a quick blur, but it's almost completely incomprehensible. It just sounds like an alien over a microphone. And then we have Yahoo. Oh dear dying Yahoo. Your free sports can't save you forever. It sounds like children's voices are being reversed to sound like an ongoing exorcism. I really don't get why so many companies have children voice actors for this. Maybe they're royalty free, uh, I don't know. But luckily, Yahoo at least did the right thing and included the captcha in the audio file. People might get freaked out, but at least they can pass through. This one is easily the worst horror wise. Then finally, what I considered as the worst was Google, who you've heard. It's a long phrase of distorted and echoey words that don't seem to amount to anything. There are very clear pronunciations of numbers in the background, but this means nothing, as these numbers are said even if the capture phrase is only letters. This confuses people even more. It's just unsettling gibberish, but on top of that, they throw random clear words that mean nothing. It's despicable. I had my clear winner. Google must be taken as tribute and pay repercussions for years of unsettling capture audio in the hopes that destroying the heart of the beast would kill the beast entirely. I'm not sure how this would affect my YouTube channel, but just know that if this is my last video, it will be posted proudly, and it was an honor making videos for all of you throughout this past year. Before mailing this strongly worded letter to a well-respected news outlet, BuzzFeed, I wanted one more opinion. I wanted reassurance that Google was a company to attack. So I downloaded the audio files on my phone and took to my local park offering $10 to anyone willing to take a listen. However, as a line of measurement, I added my own piece of audio making the most terrifying noise that I could. This way, we can be certain that any winner placed above what I perceive as a pinnacle of horror audio to truly be an unsettling noise, not meant for any individual trying to pass a capture by. I waited patiently in the hopes that one unknowing Samaritan would help mark history, but no one answered my cries. Not even for $10. This was until Earl called me over, interested in my bargain. He was hesitant at first, thinking I was trying to ruse him into making a fool of himself, but after asking me to show the $10, he was certain the deal was for real. I asked him to insert the headphones and I proceeded to play the audio segments. The first was Yahoo, the second was Amazon, the third was Google, and the fourth was Facebook. I could tell he was disgusted by what these companies called the capture audio, but I was most interested in how he would perceive my own edition. I began to worry that if I made mine too horrifying, he might choose that one, soiling my entire plan. I waited anxiously. <laughs> Earl 
took off the headphones and I was finally able to ask the question, which was the most unsettling? The third one, this one. Earl said Google, the best possible choice he could have made. I was finally comfortable writing my letter, mailing it away, and feeling proud that I made a difference. One capture at a time.